My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. The smile on my face represents how pissed off I am at what just happened. So I had to delete the video that I'm doing right now. This is an integrity check movie, part one, possibly. It's for you young women. The first integrity check that I did that I posted up on YouTube and Facebook, um, it worked both ways, but this one is specifically for young women. So I'm gonna try to be nice. And I want you girls to understand why I have to be stern and nice at the same time. And why you will have to check your fucking integrity. A lot of us men in your lives have failed you. We have failed you as fathers. We have failed you as men. We have failed you as boyfriends. Now I'm not Steve Harvey. So I can't teach you to think like a man and be a woman. But what I can tell you is to be true to yourself. What I also can tell you is that every dick that you ride ain't daddy material. Alright? And you ladies need to be taught this by your daddies. You need to be taught this by your mothers. Even if your mother got 90 fucking children and has been on Jerry Springer and Maury Povich and you are not the father. You are not to follow in her footsteps. You're not to do that. Because the only life you ruin is yours and that innocent baby that you bring into this world. Now, yeah, that sounded really cruel and harsh, and I'm sorry. But if someone doesn't teach you right from wrong and teach you right here, right now, you will fuck your life up. The teenage pregnancy rate from my generation has slimmed down a little bit, so somebody's been teaching somebody something. But before my generation and during my generation... Teen pregnancy was way the fuck up here. Way up here. Now, being that I'm sure that's saying something. Now, I'm only 5'3 and a half. And if you're in the military, they take off the half, so I'm only 5'3. But if we don't teach our young girls to watch the poles that they ride, and I ain't talking about pole dancing, I'm talking about penises. Not every penis that you get on will cause you a problem. But a lot of the motherfuckers that you get on will whisper, I love you, in your ear. And then their friends are fucking you the next week. You think I'm full of shit? Hey, you can stop watching this video right now. But I'm going to be hardcore. And I'm going to drop this on you because no one else is man enough to tell you this shit. Or you have head and ass syndrome and you don't want to hear your mom or your aunt or your sister or rape victims that have been through some shit. But you need to hear her. Because hard head make a soft ass. And like I said to everyone in the other video, it's better to learn the easy way than the fucking hard way. Because when you have to learn shit the hard way, it only gets worse from there. Having a baby at 12, 13, 14, and even 10 years old is not a good thing ever. Ever. You have a whole bunch of life to live before you decide you want to put a spawn in your stomach from some asshole who doesn't want to be a daddy in the first place. Integrity. Now, I'm not saying that it's wrong to have sex. Make sure you get one of these motherfuckers. Wrap it on his dick. Trick him. But put that motherfucker on there. And if you're a rape victim, you don't really get much of a choice in that. But you also shouldn't have to carry that bastard's baby. And like I said, I'm not big on supporting abortion, but I am big on supporting the woman's right to choose. And if a woman is raped, she does not need to carry a rape baby. For all you Christians and Catholics out there that think that, oh no, she needs to keep the baby. She needs to keep the baby. What about her? She didn't ask to be raped. There's not a woman on earth that has woken up one morning from the time they are a little girl to the time they are a grown woman. There is not one fucking woman who didn't have enough respect for herself to wake up and say, Oh, today I'm going to go ask somebody to rape me. There's never ever going to be a woman in history, at least not in my lifetime, that's going to ask somebody to rape them. Now there may be some women that sense some kinky sex and they may ask their partners that shit, but it's thoroughly planned out. You know, that's why they have bondage porn. So you can go to these places and get this shit checked out before you do something fucking stupid. But as, as in the real world, there is never going to be a woman that's going to wake up from the time they start having sex that's going to say, I want to be raped. 
That's some bullshit. That's just never going to fucking happen. But you have to have integrity, ladies. You have to be willing to say no. You have to be willing to fight yourself and the asshole that wants to use this in you against your will. Because you know what? You have the right to say no. But you know what else you have the right to do? You have the right to actually live your life and not make fucking mistakes. Now, a lot of people are going to yell at me, oh, you're saying our kids are mistakes. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that asshole that you chose to have a kid with was the mistake. Kids aren't mistakes. Parents are. Kids are innocent until we fuck them up. All right? Yeah, we, as in people, not just me, but everyone. Instead of raising children properly, you know, teach them to do the right thing, teach them not to lie, teach them to have some faith in themselves instead of, well, your friends are doing it so it's cool for you to do it. No, it's not. If your friends are drinking and they're going to get in trouble, they're going to get you in trouble. What the fuck makes that cool? Now, you have to know yourself and your friends. If you know your friends do shit that's not humanly feasible, here's a tip. Don't go following behind them. You can still be their friends, but you don't have to go everywhere with them. I'm going to give you a prime example. Ladies, I have a lot of female cousins. I have heard stories, so I'm not going to mention their names or their stories. But I am going to learn, give you the lessons learned by them. Rule number one. Never, above all else, ever get pregnant by a motherfucker to keep them. Because the opposite happens. You need to know this. I know this from both sides of my family. I've had women in my family that have had this happen. Never do that. Do not get pregnant to keep a man. Somebody better will come along. Trust me. Somebody better will always come along. And you don't want somebody who's going to come along, who's going to talk bad or treat your kids bad, but they love you, but they don't want to love your kids. That person was not better. That person was just someone who bumped into you and y'all might have had a good thing, but if that motherfucker can't love your kids, he can't really love you. But if you don't have a kid and he doesn't have a kid, you guys can start a family. But you gotta make sure it's the right motherfucking guy. You gotta have that integrity to make sure that you know that this is the right guy. And now, let's say a tragedy happens and you want to have this kid before the tragedy happens. And y'all talked about it and everything and then he dies. But you're pregnant by him. Okay. And you have to work the logistics of that out. And you want to keep the baby because it's all he had. And let's say his parents want you to keep the baby. And they swear they're going to help you. There's a 50-50 chance that that is true. There's a 30-70 chance that that shit is not. Because with today's technology, the first goddamn thing they're going to want is a goddamn DNA test. They're going to put you on the she's a fucking whore track. Which, that's what they're going to say. They're going to put you under. She's a fucking whore. She's a fucking whore. She's a fucking whore. You're going to get that a whole lot. So, if you don't believe me, trust me when I tell you, I told you I had women in my family on my father and my mother's side that have had this experience. So, why would I lie to you? You're going to need to know this shit as a young woman growing up. You're going to need to know that if someone's going to put you on the she's a fucking whore track, you're going to want to know if you're overly qualified or if you're underly qualified or if you're innocent and you have this guy's baby and they're good people and they're going to do what they say. Not everybody who claims to be honorable is honorable. All right? I try my best to live honorably. I try not to speak out of both sides of my mouth. And if I do, I try to catch myself so that I don't have to worry about some other bullshit that flew out my mouth. So I'm going to tell you this. If I have a daughter, I have prepared myself for years about this shit because I've watched my parents not do this. I have watched aunts and uncles not do this. It has been the worst thing that they have done in their life. And so if you hear me, which I hope you do, I hope you are listening to everything I say, ladies. Not every dick did you ride is daddy material. Your parents need to tell you that if you're going to have sex, have safe sex. Under no circumstances whatsoever do you not have safe sex at all. 
And I'm going to tell you this because, like I said, ladies in my family have gone through this shit. And I don't want to be the man to put a lady through this shit. You have to know the consequences of sex. Now, as a parent, which I am not, but when I, if I, God willing, I'm lucky enough to become a parent and I have a daughter. I'm not going to treat her any different than I treat my son. That's not a fucking option. But I'm going to make her more prepared than most women have been prepared by their daddies in this lifetime. And the reason is because I know one thing that's inevitable. And all you women know this too. Especially you women who didn't have your daddies in your life. If you're going to have sex, you're going to have sex. And there's not a goddamn thing that your daddy can do about it. He can get mad. He might go pull an Al Bundy and beat the asshole up to put his dick in you. But in the end, it doesn't take the fact back that he put his dick in you. It's done. So protect yourself. Wear a condom. I'm going to make a second video now for this because I didn't want to go past 11 minutes and I have. So this is Comfort Number 2. Get ready.